Hi, this is Stephanie, head photographer with Three Studios in Washington, D.C. Today we're going to talk about how to take a good boudoir photo. Good boudoir photos always rely on the subject being comfortable. So you can either do it in home or you can do it in studio, but wherever you choose to do it, make sure that you ask and find out the comfort level of your client beforehand. If they don't want a lot of people around, make sure that it's only you on set or at least confirm that it is okay to have a female assistant on staff or on hand for their photo shoot. Um, <clears throat> with that being said, to start off, a good boudoir photo shoot always begins with having a good space and location. Um, always have a bed on hand because that's always a good place for the model or client to start their photo shoot. Have them playing with their sheets, ruffling their hair. Those are always good elements to add to a boudoir photo shoot and make it sexy. If you're shooting in a space that doesn't allow for a bed, you can always use areas within the room to basically set up your subject. Um, you can have them sitting down, cross-legged, and have them pull up a nice fur rug or carpet. You can also have them standing in sexy lingerie and really showing off their curves. Again, you can just use the space to the best, to your best advantage. It's also very important to have clothing options. So make sure you have different lingerie options, teddies, robes, things that you can add into a photo shoot to really make it pop and to give your, you and your client or model different options. Now again, utilizing the set and having really good clothes is important, but also you can't forget about the overall look of having hair and makeup. I always recommend if you can find someone to professionally do your hair and makeup for you, always go that route because it's really hard to get that perfect boudoir sexy look without really paying attention to those details, which having a makeup and hairstylist on hand will help you um, be able to achieve. So again, make sure that the hair and makeup looks fabulous and fantastic and be sure to use your space to its fullest potential. And also make sure to give them a number of different clothing options for the photo shoot. Again, this is Stephanie, head photographer with Reese Studios in Washington, D.C., and we just talked about how to take good boudoir photos.